October 17th, 2021. Sunday, absolutely beautiful day in Southern California. Perfect day, 71 degrees, perfect day to be planting an avocado. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Here's the hole that I already dug. I've already filled it with water and it's already drained and we're ready to go. All right, slight change of plans because, as you guys know, I bought a Gwen avocado and a 15 gallon from Louis. And in my excitement, I started digging this hole thinking that I'm gonna plant, as you know, here's my Hass avocado right there, Hass. There's my Kona. And I dug this hole right here, about 10 feet apart from the Kona and the Hass. And my plan was to put a Gwen here, but after reconsidering, I think I'm going to put this thing, which is my Ettinger, into this spot because that was my original original plan. Um, the Ettinger is really a B-type that's supposed to be a really good pollinator for the Hass. So I decided to stick this here from the beginning. I changed the plans, but changing it back. So sticking with the original plan. So as you can see, here it is. I'll try to get in here so you can see. It's a, it's a Edinger. Um, I have it in my pot and it really kind of outgrew and it's really root bound in there right now. You can see how big it is already in the five gallon. Um, the roots were definitely coming out of the bottom when I moved it over here. So we really need to get this in the ground. So that's what I'm doing today. I'll show you guys the progress as we kind of go along. All right, so I tried to pull it out of this pot and it wasn't coming out and I didn't want to damage it. So we're going to have to cut it out. So we got these guys. We're going to cut this thing out. All right, got it out. Check it out. Really root bound. So I'm glad I'm finally deciding to get this thing in the ground ASAP. So. Let's do it. All right, as you can see, guys, I got it actually sticking up higher than grade. So here's kind of what it looks like. The root ball is sticking up maybe five inches or so. All right, so the root ball is in the ground. This is like the native soil. I'm gonna mix in some of this stuff. Palm, cactus, and citrus mix. So we're gonna mix it with the, the native soil. Yeah, so there it is, that's the palm mix right there. We're gonna mix this in and just have it all on top. All right, more progress, all mounded up. Pretty much in the ground. Actually, what I'm going to do is go to the Home Depot and buy a stake because this guy, there's a couple new leaders that are popping up that are starting to kind of really take off. So, you can see it right here. It's kind of hard to see, sorry. This is a new one that just shot up. There it goes. All right, so once mounded up, I put some fertilizer down, which is the granules, you can see that. Threw some of that down, and then what I'm gonna throw on top of that is this earthworm casting. It's like a bag, a one cubic foot bag. It's a lot of earthworm casting, and it's only like 15 bucks. So a little pricey, but then considering that I paid like $15 for hot pot also so not that big of a deal um, also we got another bag of this palm uh, cactus and citrus mix what I really like about this is that it drains really really well it's pretty loose so that's what we're gonna throw on top of that um, and then we're gonna mulch put you on pause 
So don't forget your irrigation, which I just threw in right now also, right here. And I just turned it on via Wi-Fi. This is why you want this. Oh, let's check. Okay, there it goes. Now you can adjust them. Okay, final step, mulch, a lot of mulch, and we're done. So today I'm just going to put a soaker hose on this and just really deep water it in to give you, or to give it like that extra water to kind of keep it going. And uh, my plan is to eventually whitewash all of these branches, but not today because the temperatures aren't that hot in the sun isn't really that hot so that's kind of where we're at all right got the soaker hose going soaker hose is running right now on the lowest setting so i had to rip it out of this five gallon unfortunately i like to reuse these for other things but i didn't want to damage our avocado by trying to rip it out so it was better to just cut it out so Edinger avocado, $39.99 is how much I paid for it. Even though it says $39.99, I didn't pay $39.99. I got the tree for free. So this was my free tree that I got through the city. And uh, it's one of those uh, special things that they do every year where they give you a free shade tree once a year. So check your municipalities see if they offer it also and if they do take advantage and if they allow you to buy an avocado like me even better so why did I get a Edinger well it's supposed to be a really good pollinator for a Hass which is why I have it right here next to my Hass avocado and the Edinger it's supposed to be more of a Mexican and it's kind of like a fuerte so it's supposed to be uh, one of those varieties that ripens like probably a month earlier than a fuerte avocado and so far this tree flowered for me in April um, if you watch some of my previous videos maybe I'll link it at the top here so you can actually see I actually had this thing flowering and I put it next to my gem avocado and it actually got my gem to, to fruit but I picked all the fruit off anyways. So this tree originated in Israel, um, brought to the US in 1954. Um, the fruit is green when ripe. Um, it also has a really creamy flesh from what I've heard. I haven't tried a fruit yet, so excited to finally get this in the ground and actually try some of the fruit eventually. Um, now, one thing about the, the seed cavity is that the seed tend to be a little loose in the cavity and the skin of the seed kind of sticks to the flesh so don't know if that's necessarily that bad of a thing as long as you can peel it off but the fruit's supposed to be very very good kind of like forte like and uh, temperatures that it can handle down into is 28 degrees F is what I've read um, now with us in in our area um, fruiting a little sooner is a good thing because it, it extends our season so that's kind of what I'm looking for so one good thing one really good thing about this is that it was let me see if I can zoom in if you can see that it was a Durling nursery avocado so as far as my Gwen, my plan now is to put it here, right next to my little Cotto, which is growing nicely. You can see it's actually kind of going straight up almost. So I'll show you some footage of what this thing used to look like when I first put it in the ground. But I did a double stake and I'm training it to kind of go up and it's kind of doing it. So since this is going to be a little tree, 
I decided to put my Gwen here instead. And the only problem is we got this ash tree, which I've slowly started digging out of the ground, and it's going to be a long process. So, considering the, the Gwen is already in a 15 gallon, I'm just going to leave it in there and continue to work on trying to get this ash tree out. As soon as the ash is out, this is where we're going to put our Gwen. So I know some of you guys are considering getting avocados and you're kind of new to the channel. Thank you for joining and kind of watching how we do things around here. Um, be a part of the team. You know, I'm on this little journey to try to grow some avocados. You could be a part of the journey also. And this is absolutely a beautiful day in Southern California. I definitely encourage growing avocados if you can manage it and take care of it. And it's not really that difficult. If you look at this Wurtz or Little Cotto or AKA, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's also called like a dwarf hybrid, which is essentially just a Little Cotto. So, and you know, if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. And we can do it together. So you could be a part of the journey and see how yours progress as mine progresses. And as I fertilize, I'll show you when I fertilize. So you can follow along, do the same thing, and hopefully we'll make the same mistakes together. <laughs> hopefully not, but hopefully um, everything would just be kind of growing nicely. And in the future years, we'll get tons and tons of fruit. So all of this work trying to grow avocados and making sure they stay hydrated. Well, you got to stay hydrated also, and this is what we're doing. So to my friends on the East Coast, this is it. I found what you were drinking and we're going to have the same thing. So thanks for sharing and um, if you're following along, let's uh, do this together. All right. Talk to you guys later. See ya.